There's a lot of fear around mushrooms, especially in North America. There's a lot less to fear than you would think. These are pretty common right now. They're a little cup called Cyborea rufa fusca. So we're here on Woodby Island on the south end. I run Woodby Wild Mushroom Tours. You can't go into an alder forest and not find oysters. They're just everywhere. We all meet up at Tilth Farmer's Market and I'll have a table laid out with lots of specimens for you to check out. And they're all labeled, identified, whether they're edible and poisonous will be described. So I started these tours because it's something I've always wanted to do. I've had a lot of friends tell me that I've always taught them things and they said, you know, oh, you're really good at this, you know, you should do tours. And I'm like, yeah, maybe one day. Um, and then I almost died. I was hit by a car. Uh, my leg got ripped off. It was really bad. And, you know, when you almost die, everything becomes a little more important and what you, how you spend your time is important. Let's stay together as a group. So I just wanted to focus on something that would be really fulfilling for me and hopefully fulfilling for others. Keep your eyes peeled for a wonky, crazy looking mushroom. The tours are for anybody that are, that are curious about mushrooms. I think there's a lot of mystery around mushrooms. A lot of people aren't very familiar with them. Ready? Bing! Oh my goodness. It is the brightest fluorescent mushroom that we have. So the idea is just to really teach people that aren't familiar with mushrooms how to go about identifying, how to be safe, how to find good edibles, stay away from the bad ones. So this is Sterium Acrasia flavum, and I know the names are all over the place and fun. I really want to teach people that mushrooms aren't anything to fear. You want to be careful, to take your time, but once you get a fundamental understanding of the anatomy of a mushroom and how to go about identifying, it makes it a lot easier. So these are the uh, false morels, the Gyromecha esculenta that I had on my table. There's like a few of them here. I like poop on a stick better. I think a lot of people also don't realize how much there is to learn about mushrooms. You know, how many different unique things there are about mushrooms. You know, there, there are some mushrooms that you can interact with. They respond to you. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's, it's all in our backyard. You don't have to go far, you know, get up off your couch, walk around your neighborhood. They are everywhere. But yeah, there's a morel. This is the Morcella norvegiensis. Most people are pleasantly surprised with the amount of education they get and the confidence that they feel afterwards and that they too can go out and do this on their own. Oh, yay! It's a little one, but that's a morel. The biggest reward for me is to watch somebody get excited about identifying an oyster mushroom and being able to take it home and cook it up that day. It's, it's rewarding, you know, it's more important to me than money.